Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number 13. So we have a, a set of similar triangles and um, what we are asked to find are the missing values um, for some of the missing sides here. So it looks like we're looking for X and Y in this question. So the way we have to approach this is we need to set up our ratios um, in terms of our sides and then um, in, and use one of the ratios that is going to have an unknown. So the first thing we can look at here is um, what are the corresponding sides that are uh, supposed to be similar um, because that's what their question is telling us here. So the first thing we'll look at here is we can look at segment CD which has got a length of 12 units and that corresponds to the length of unit um, AB which has got a length of 9 units here. So we can say that we have a ratio here of 9 to 12. Okay, so the short side is 9, or the smaller triangle is 9, and the longer one here is 12. So if, that, if the triangles are similar, then that means that other um, corresponding sides would have to be equal to this ratio here. So let me just put up another color here. And let's look at the X. So the X here is, I'll just put one mark here, is going to be corresponding to the same side as uh, the side BF, which is the four. So we'll mark that there. So what we have here is um, the nine corresponds to 12. That is the small to the large. So we should have um, essentially then four over X is what we're going to um, correspond to because that's the small side and the X is on the large side. So in order for us to solve that, let's move that back to red, um, we can just do a simple cross multiply. So we're going to have 9X is equal to 4 times 12. So 4 times 12 is uh, 48. Okay. And then to solve for X, we're going to divide both sides by 9. So X in this case is a fraction 48 over 9. Um, you can work that out in your calculator. Um, it comes out to approximately 5.3, and I think that's a repeating decimal. So that's how you would solve for the x, the missing one for x. Now we need, we should also, uh, we do have to solve for the second variable here, y. But again, we do have a ratio that we can work with here. So we're going to do the set it up the same way. So we're going to do 9 to 12, and then the y here. The y is the long one. Okay, and then the short one here that corresponds to the y is 6. Okay, so it'll be 6 over y. Okay, so just remember that the 12 matches up with y, so we want to put those um, together, and then the 9 matches up with the 6, so we keep the order of the ratio the same. Okay, so um, we can just do a cross multiply here, so we're going to go 9 times y is 9y, 6 times 12 is 60 and 12, that is going to be 72. We're going to divide both sides by 9. That means y is equal to 8. Okay, so our two um, examples here, the answers will be x is equal to 5.3, okay, and then y is equal to the value of 